Eco Fashionistas. This is Eva, and you are with Fashion Transformation with Eva. You're here because you want to embrace sustainable fashion and create the sustainable fashion wardrobe you have always wanted. Today, we are going to talk about jeans, and I'm going to show you three ways in which you can fix three common problems that most of us do experience with our own jeans. Before we start, be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell button at the bottom of the video so you get notified when I upload next. And like and share with your friends if you think it's going to be beneficial to them. After all, we all have genes. Let's do it. The first thing we're going to look at is shortening jeans. You want to keep that detail at the bottom. Jeans have got really great details all over normally and you want to keep original details as much as possible. The first thing we need to do is to measure from the hem up how uh, much we want them shortened by. And you need to do this on both legs at the same time. Then you need to measure the detail that you have at the bottom. So from the hem to the first stitching, that could be one centimeters, one and a half centimeters, maybe two. And then you need to then move the pin that you have, put, like I have done here. I indicated the length that I want with pins. You need to move that pin up by the amount that uh, you have on that detail at the bottom. Then we need to pin all around the uh, jeans um, at the hem like I have shown you here and uh, then we need to fold them up so the stitching at the bottom uh, meets the pins just like I've done here. Then move the pins from where they are to the actual bit that we can see as you can see here and we then need to stitch along where our pins are. We end up having this big giant pleat. If you have a lot to uh, take up, then you might want to cut the excess. Otherwise, fold it up and press with the iron. And you'll see that we have kept our original hem, but we have shortened the jeans. That's why we went up a little bit extra because we have kept the hem. If you enjoy uh, little transformations like this and little tips and hacks, check out my uh, video from last week which was on colors and how to change easily colors in three different ways. I'll put the link somewhere up there. The second thing that uh, is something that happens to a lot of people and I had a question last week about it as well is when you have a gap at the back of the waistline so when you put your jeans and you've got a gap in the middle uh, of the waist for some uh, people there's more of a gap for others less for me it's not too big a gap here um, I actually will let you in on a secret these are actually men's jeans that I'm wearing um, the methods that I am showing you can be applied to both men's and ladies jeans what you need to do is check where you've got the loop that's supposed to be there for the belt for more in inconspicuous look and then using either a seam ripper or scissors you need to make a cut just on the inside layer of the jean uh, waistband you will find that the waistband there are two layers an outer layer and inside layer so do not make any cuts on the outside just on the inside then take some elastic that is um, no wider than the actual waistband i have used a fairly small one here and uh, measure from one cut to the other and once you do this uh, you want to just stretch it a little bit more and then trim it so the actual elastic will be a little bit shorter than uh, the distance between the two cuts then what you need to do is take a couple of safety pins the bigger the safety pins the easier this is and you pin one side of the elastic on the side of one of the uh, rips that we've created 
and you put the other pin on the other side of the actual elastic like I've shown you here and then what you need to do is you put the pin with the elastic through the hole that we've created on one side and then gather all the way to the other side and that safety pin will make it easier and the next thing you need to do is pin on both sides the elastic so it stays in place and you can either use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine uh, and stitch down which is why we did this underneath where there are loops because the loop will cover the stitch you make sure you'll uh, have the loop on the side you could also do this by hand I'm using a very bright color so you could see what I'm doing I'm basically catching both sides of the ripped area plus the actual uh, elastic but not the outside of the waistband so you can't actually see anything and when uh, I put the jeans on you see that that gap has disappeared because the elastic uh, keeps uh, the jeans closer to uh, my body and finally problem number three is if you like me have a problem with your thighs ribbing a little bit it is something that happens to a lot of people then uh, over time the inside leg of the top on probably on both sides will start ripping now these jeans are not mine a friend gave them to me a while ago and um, I will demonstrate what you could do they're really really ripped as you can see so we'll have to do quite a lot of mending what you can do is you can take a piece of fabric that is similar color to the jeans that you have if it's if you have any denim scraps that work perfectly like i have here and then you need to cut a piece that is bigger than the area that we need to mend and then what you need to do is pin it in place uh put a couple of pins normally and then i section it. i go to the sewing machine and then i I stitch down the ripped area to the piece that I use as an underlay and uh, I do that on either side and in the middle to start with you can turn the jeans inside out uh, for easier stitch and then all you need to do is start stitching back and forth and back and forth using color as similar as possible to the jeans in that area uh, the colors kind of vary so there's a bit of white from the actual rip bit and uh, the jeans are actually quite blue so I've used a couple of types of blue and it looks quite creative because there's quite a lot of damage to these particular jeans but we end up having two layers uh, the original jean layer where was left from it and the one underneath which means that they're stronger than they were before and because of where the original tear is it's unlikely that it will be seen ideally the tear that you have on your jeans will be smaller so uh, it will be less obvious unless you want to make a real feature all round that's one way in which you could mend and patch jeans at unwanted places Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you have found it useful. Let me know in the comments below whether you have tried any of these methods before and how did it turn out? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, get, get notified by hitting the notifications bell button at the bottom of the video. The more you like and share and subscribe, the more people will be able to see these tips enjoy transforming your clothes and you like the idea of customizing things your own way but are also looking for more ideas why not join my mailing list and i will send you a free pdf 103 page book which is dedicated to just that it is filled with loads of ideas and visuals and step-by-step uh, upcycling tip and everything that I show in that book you can adapt to your own liking to suit your own style. Hit the uh, link in the description uh, to join the mailing list and I will send you the book. Until next time stay creative and see you there.